Hi, my name is Michael, and welcome to the Trusted Tech Team blog. This is where you'll find news, updates, and video tutorials on everything from Office 365 to Remote Desktop, SQL, and Exchange Server. Today, we're going to be focusing on converting an evaluation version of Windows Server into the fully licensed one. This video walks you through the process using Windows Server 2019, and while not exact, this process is almost identical for Server 2008 through Server 2016. So let's get started. Before we begin, you'll want to take note of the evaluation details in the bottom right corner of the screen. This section will detail the version, edition, and time left on your evaluation. To start, you'll want to open the command prompt. If the icon is not in your taskbar, you can find it by searching CMD in the search bar near the start menu. Once you see the command prompt icon appear, right click it and select run as administrator. When this opens, Proceed to type in and run the command shown on the screen. This command is also available in the description so you can easily copy it. You'll want to replace all the X's in the command with your 25 character product key. Something important to note, we will be converting the evaluation to Windows Server Standard as the Set Edition section of the command shows. If you're converting to either Essential or Data Center, you'll want to use the appropriate syntax, also referenced on screen. If entered correctly, you'll see the Deployment Image Servicing and Management tool start up followed by a progress bar. Once this progress bar completes, you'll be then prompted to restart the server. The speed in which this completes can vary greatly depending on your hardware and internet connection. After your server restarts, it will go through a standard setup cycle. These actions will lift the server out of evaluation mode as well as activate it. Once you're able to sign back into the server, you should note the evaluation details on the bottom right corner are gone. This indicates the server has been successfully upgraded to a licensed version and is ready for use. And that's it! Be sure to check out our blog as we will be releasing many more videos and guides very soon.